Item number SCP-210. Index Flooded House. Object Class Safe. Special Containment Procedures. The property containing SCP-210 has been designated as site. The primary responsibility of guards on site is to prevent entry by trespassers and maintain the cover story detailed in Document 210-01. The servants' quarters adjacent to SCP-210 have been deemed safe for human habitation and may be used for on-site housing. A remotely controlled vehicle is to be sent into SCP-210 on a monthly basis to catalog any changes. Description SCP-210 is a two-story mansion flooded to a depth of 4.35 meters with an unknown fluid substance. The substance, designated SCP-210-01, possesses a refractive index nearly identical to water. This fluid is invisible from the outside of SCP-210 and does not flow out of SCP-210 if a door or window is opened. Any living creature that comes into contact with SCP-210-01 enters a sleep-like state and begins drifting through SCP-210-01 as if neutrally buoyant. Beings trapped in this manner are designated SCP-210-02. To date, instances of SCP-210-02 have been catalogued by remote means. Instances of SCP-210-02 emit a constant stream of bubbles as if exhaling despite no source of air being identified and subjects appearing to breathe as normal. Subjects have been noted to move through SCP-210-01 slowly as if dancing. It has not been determined if this is under the power of the subjects or of the microcurrents within SCP-210-01. SCP-210 came to the attention of the Foundation when an agent embedded in the County Police Department received a number of related missing persons reports. Mobile Task Force Utah 12 Dam Fitz, was dispatched to intercept the investigations. The disappearances were quickly traced to a party held at SCP-210 on 20, with several subsequent disappearances resulting from persons undergoing private investigations. Two team members were lost on initial contact with SCP-210. The first when entering through the front door, and the second while attempting to recover the first. The full documentation of this investigation can be found in Document 210-01. Addendum 210-01 Attempts to remove SCP-210-02 from SCP-210-01 have failed, as instances of SCP-210-02, which reach the edge of SCP-210-01, will not travel any further. Instances of SCP-210-02 cannot be damaged. This property extends to clothing, evidenced by remote attempts to harvest sample material. Furniture and other inanimate objects within SCP-210-01 behave as if in normal atmospheric conditions and may be removed from the residence. Removed items show no anomalies. Addendum 210-02 The remote observation of SCP-210 on 20 was unable to locate SCP-210-02-07. Note, we have been completely unable to locate SCP-210-07 on subsequent observations. A request has been placed for tracking devices in case of further disappearances. Researcher Buff 